Our democracy is unfortunately littered with failed projects of this kind. This time it is different. However, because we have learned from those experiences and we haven't taken any shortcuts in the process. This is not being a process of expedience or jostling for positions, but one which, is, which we have found each other out and have painstakingly worked through our differences. Our experience in running municipalities together has also helped in fostering an environment of mutual trust and understanding for each other's values and desires for the future of our country. I can therefore proudly say today that this marriage will last. Because, very important, we've got the blessing of all our members. And as in a marriage, both partners bring different life experiences, personalities and approaches to issues. It is this diversity, however, that will add the spice to the marriage and ensure that the whole will be greater than the sum of its parts. We are hoping that this marriage will inspire all South Africans to come together behind a vision that can unlock the true potential of our country. For this to happen, we have to learn to trust each other and to stand up together against corruption that is robbing our country of its chances of prosperity. <laughs> this event today is mere, must merely be seen as the first step in the important task of consolidating the opposition and offering the voters a true alternative to government. In this regard, negotiations with COPE and the UDM will continue once they have received a mandate from their respective national conferences. 